We're back for the last few entries to tennis today. April 22nd, some of the merchandise sold to sports retail with a sales price of $1,000 and a cost of $600 was returned because it was the wrong model. The merchandise was restored to inventory. Let's quickly review the sale entry that we did on April 20th. We can see on April 20th, we recognized that we had an accounts receivable, a legal right to collect from our customers, and sales revenue. But unfortunately, since we allowed sports retail to return $1,000 of that $6,800, we're going to have to reverse that entry and recognize a sales return. In addition, we no longer have a cost of goods sold because we didn't generate revenue, so we can't claim an expense. And the inventory is back on our shelves, so we have to recognize its future economic benefit. Let's do the entry. April 22nd. What did we get? We got a return. $1,000. What did we give away? We gave the customer back their IOU. That means we no longer have a legal right to collect cash from them, and so our accounts receivable are going to go down. $1,000. What did we get? We got back our inventory, and our inventory was valued at $600. It's back on the shelf, so it has future economic benefit. 600 bucks. What did we give away? Well, we got rid of the expense because we no longer generated revenue. Cost of goods sold. $600. Updating the T account. Inventory increases by $600. April 23rd, sold merchandise to Sports for You for $5,600, terms 1-5, net 25. The cost of the merchandise was $3,360. Shipping terms were FOB shipping point. Well, we know what to do with this. Let's do the entry. April 23rd, what did we get? We got the legal right to collect cash from our customers, accounts receivable. $5,600. What did we give away? We gave away a product which gives us a right to claim sales revenue. $5,600. What did we get? We got the use of inventory to help generate revenue. That means cost of goods sold. $3,360. And what did we give away? We gave away the inventory. $3,360. Do you count? Credit, inventory, $3,360. April 24th, the appropriate party paid freight of $85. The shipping terms were FOB shipping point, which means that the receiver owned the inventory while it was in transit, was responsible for the inventory if it's damaged, and they have to pay the freight charges. We were not the receiver, we're the shipper. And as a consequence, April 24th is no entry. Receive payment from Sports Retail. Let's do the three-step process. Can the customer take the discount? Ownership transferred on April 20th. The terms? 110. The last day that Sports Retail can take the discount is on April 30th. What's today's date? That means the company can take the discount. What is the amount of the accounts receivable that Sports Retail owes us? Remember, it's the original invoice, minus any returns, minus any allowances. This tells us that sports retail owes us $5,800. Step three, how much cash are we going to get from sports retail? Take the amount that we calculated in step number two. Multiply it times 100% minus the term, which was 1%. $5,800 times 99 is equal to 5,742. How much is the dollar value of the discount? 5,800 minus 5,742, $58. Let's do the entry. April 25th. What did we get? We got cash. $5,742. What did we give away? We gave the customer back their IOU. They no longer owe us anything, so accounts receivable is going to disappear. $5,800. Where does the discount go? When we were the buyer, any discount was credited to the inventory account because the inventory became cheaper. 
However, when we are selling inventory, we don't have that inventory anymore. So we can't do an entry to inventory when that inventory has been shipped out to our customer. When we offer a customer a discount, if they pay early, what does it really do to us? It causes us to lose some of our revenue. We are accepting less cash in settlement of the accounts receivable. And as a result, we are reducing our revenue. So this has to go against a revenue account called sales discounts. Sometimes companies call this cash discounts, which is also acceptable. Remember that this is a revenue account, but it's a contra revenue account that's going to reduce the amount of revenue. $58. So let's go back to the question. Granted a $150 sales allowance to sports for you. No merchandise was returned. What is a sales allowance? A sales allowance is when a customer calls up their supplier and they say that they're unhappy with something, but the supplier really doesn't want to take the inventory back. It's expensive to pay shipping fees to bring the inventory back to this location. So therefore, I don't want my customer sports for you to return anything. So I offer them some money to keep them happy and I tell them to keep the inventory. So a sales allowance is when we offer money to our customers in order to stop them from returning product. As a consequence, sales allowances are treated the same as sales returns because in effect, they reduce our revenue. Let's record the entry. April 28th. What did we get? We got a reduction to our revenue because we gave away an allowance. $150. What did we give away? We gave away the customer's IOU for $150. That customer no longer owes us and we no longer have a legal right to collect the cash from them. Accounts receivable. Notice that we're not going to do the cost of goods sold and the inventory entry because we didn't get any inventory back. April 30th, received payment from sports for you Let's do the three-step process. Can sports for you take the discount? When did ownership transfer? April 23rd. What are the terms? 1-5, net 25. When's the last time they can take the discount? April 28th at midnight. What's today's date? It's April 30th, so sports for you cannot take the discount. Do we still have to do step two and three? We don't have to do step three, but we absolutely have to do step two. That's because we need to know the amount of the accounts receivable outstanding. Remember, we take the value of the original invoice. We deduct returns and we deduct sales allowances. How much is owed to us? $5,450. Remember, we don't need to do step three because there's no discount. Let's do the entry. April 30th. What did we get? Cash. How much cash did we get? $5,450. What did we give away? We gave back the customer's accounts receivable. $5,450. Now we can add up the T account. $3,994. That's how much our perpetual inventory system tells us is right now sitting on our shelves. Is that actually the amount that we expect to find on our shelf? That's the next part of the question and we'll do this in the next video.